everyone. So I decided to rent a camp spot at Sugarloaf Marina. And this is my spot. I've got a perfect view of Sugarloaf Mountain and a loud crying child behind me. Uh, there's my car, I got my kayak on there. I got my tent set up. And this is like my little sitting area in the shade. Hoping that kid doesn't cry all night. But if it does, then just have to deal with it. I'm here by myself. I'm solo camping tonight. Um, I don't, I have some people that might come out and sit by the campfire with me tonight, but I'm not really sure. One of my goals this year was to do a solo backpacking trip and I'm kind of want to like face that fear. So I decided a good, I guess, intro to that be to just camp by myself at a campground with my car. I'm not really nervous about being alone or anything. Everyone else is, but whatever. I got here about an hour ago, eh, about 30 minutes ago, and it's about five o'clock now. So I think I'm just gonna take my kayak, wake up early and do an early morning kayak float out to Sugarloaf and then hike those trails up there in the morning. I'm gonna chill here um, tonight. It's gonna be so nice. There's like no humidity, there's a breeze, and tonight's gonna be down um, 70s like upper 60s so it's gonna be perfect weather but yeah I'm really excited to be out here I've been wanting to go camping for forever and the thing is no one else can come it's in the middle you know it's in the middle of the week so um, I'm not gonna sit around and wait for people I'm gonna live my life and do what I want to do on my terms and if that means doing it alone then that's fine with me so this is my view it's fabulous so probably gonna jump in the water here in a minute because i'm really hot there's a little swimming area over there but yeah i'm getting all settled in <laughs> Water is so low and all the sand is up there. Normally there's sand. So I have some friends that are gonna come and um, they're gonna bring stuff for s'mores. So I'm gonna swim here for a little bit and then go to my campfire and make a fire. For when they come out, just gonna relax. Ready? Well, I just got done swimming, and it's um, like six o'clock, and so Mimi and her mom are on the way over. They're bringing s'mores, so I think I'm gonna start the fire. And I have not eaten dinner, so I think I'm gonna do that too. But. Oh my gosh, the temperature is already dropping and it just feels so good out here. <sighs> and this is my dinner. I just made a turkey sandwich and I'm going to have some chips and salsa. And Mimi made that fire. Good I job. Did. We're proud of you. Got my personal s'more chef <laughs> over there. Mm. just left and just enjoyed that beautiful sunset and got a fire going so I'm just gonna chill by that and 
study for my test probably. I'm kinda tired, so hopefully I'll get good sleep tonight. I'm gonna leave my rain fly off my tent tonight. Hopefully look at the stars. So I don't know what phase the moon is in. But oh, can't get enough. The GoPro does not do it justice. Good morning. I just woke up. It's like 7.30. And, um, kind of chilly out. But I probably got like five hours of sleep last night. <sighs> Couldn't fall asleep at first and then I was woken up this morning by a crying child. So I'm just gonna wake up and eat breakfast and then take my kayak out. And can I just say that these bags under my eyes pretty impressive this morning. All right, I got camp all packed up. And I'm gonna go down there and put my kayak in. The water looks pretty good. So yeah, I'm gonna get the rest of this stuff loaded up. It is 8.40, so a little s slow moving this morning, but that's okay. All right, I just put in right here. Got my cooler, got everything. So let's head that way. And there's where I came from. So this is kind of a long paddle over here. But I finally have made it to shore, but now I kind of got to go around, and that's where the trailheads are. So, almost there. All right, I made it here. I'm parking spot. hike over here to the trailhead. This is the first trail that I've hiked this summer, I think. It's kind of steep at the beginning, so we'll see how this goes. Side note, I'm really impressed with my kayak again because um, this was the first time I've loaded it down. I have my cooler on there, something in the dry storage area, and my backpack, and it works like a pro. It was still really steady and um, tracked really well, so super happy with that. So basically, this is just like a huge workout. Kayak over here and burn out your arms and abs. And then you get to the mountain and you burn out your legs. 
Okay, you're going straight up it. Feels good to be hiking. And it's super cool and there's a breeze, so it makes it even more enjoyable. Ooh, a bench. I may sit there. I'm hiking in my Chacos today. And as you can see, this trail is super nice. It's wide, it's not overgrown, and there's no poison ivy, which is the best part. So y'all did it last night. I successfully did my first solo camping trip and faced my fears and accomplished one of my goals for this year. So that feels good. I was a little scared at first when I laid down to go to bed because I kept thinking I was hearing something like walking. But then I realized I was just making that up in my head. And it was like, it was my tent because the wind was blowing. So every time the wind would blow, my tent would flutter and make a noise. And after a while I was like, okay, just go to bed. So I finally went to bed and when I did, I slept really well. So I'm following these red blazes first, and I'm going to go straight up the mountain and look at the overlooks. And then I'm going to go this way, and that takes you, loops you around the mountain and back down to um, where I parked my boat. All right, let's go to the top. not the only person on the mountain now there's a family a couple families here so I'm gonna take this base trail around Sugarloaf and I'll be back at my kayak then I'm gonna probably eat lunch on my boat because I need some energy to paddle all the way back and then get my kayak back on my car by myself all right let's do it So I don't know if I'll see any, but normally I see deer running around out here when I hike this trail and it always trips me out because I'm like, how did they get here? Because this mountain is in the middle of the lake. You can only access it by boat. So I know deer can swim, but that's a long way to swim. Um, but maybe they were just here before they filled this lake up. I don't know. If anybody knows the history behind that, let me know. Look y'all, it's an armadillo. Oh. Oh, just... oh, there's a deer. Look at him. I don't know if you can see him. Oh, he's a little baby. But look at this guy. Oh, he's so cute. Hey, Bubba. Oh, he just scurried under that rock. Oh, I scared him. I'm sorry, Mr. Armadillo. I'm in your home. I will leave you alone. Just seeing all the wildlife at once. <laughs> Love it.
Just finished hiking. I'm gonna chill in the water for a little bit and then eat lunch and then head back to my car. So, ah, it's perfect. Life is good. Lunch on the water. So right now I just pointed my boat back to my destination and the wind is blowing me there and while I eat lunch. So this is I've floated all the way out to here from just the wind blowing me. Like I haven't done anything. This is pretty nice. The water's just <laughs> taking me home. got her on there it's a lot easier with two people but I can get it done with one pretty pretty good so All right, 